All right, so this is for the air ride system to show you how the air ride system dumps. The air ride will need to dump in order to load the cot system. So I'm just going to show you what your options are for the air ride system. So once the truck has been parked and it's on scene, you're going to open up the rear doors. And when you open up this left rear door, it's going to automatically dump. You can override the dump feature with this switch that says air ride override. If you hit that, it's going to come back up. All right. Really, there's no need for you to have to do that. In the event that you ever do feel like you don't want the air ride to dump, you can hit that switch. But most of the time, you just leave that switch off and it'll no operate like you would normally want it to operate when you're getting ready to load a cot. So that is the end of how this air ride system operates. Okay, when you're getting ready to load a cot into the ambulance, you're going to have a patient on here, obviously. And so you're going to push the plus button that is on the cot, and it will raise the cot up. Now, to stop right there, what you want to do is push it until it stops, and then push it again and hold it until it goes all the way up. All right, and that will be its loading position. So that's how the cot needs to be whenever you're getting ready to load it into the ambulance. All right, when the cot is all the way in the up position, you're going to push the cot forward and that safety hook is going to pass over the, uh, the uh, safety catch. You're going to lower the cot down so that it is resting and now it's locked in and you can carry the weight of the back of the cot all the way up and be able to roll it on into the truck. All right, so the anti-tilt device is a short foot bar that is the same kind of bar that secures the cot in place. It goes into the floor plate and then we have what's called a neural knob that screws down into the floor. The neural knob is short, so you don't have to screw a whole lot for it to be in position. So it's in position right now, and that is how you put the anti-tilt feature in. So while that's going on, one person typically would, should be able to do that, while the other person goes and pushes the automatic leveling button in the front cab. So with that being said, the cot you will just raise all the way up. You roll it forward. All right, once you've Into raised the cot up and while the other person is hitting the automatic leveling button, you can push the cot up into this front bar position so those front wheels are going to line up with the antlers and this stop that's on the side of the cot right here is what is going to act also as the anti-tilt device which now it's locked into that position and it will not move or tilt out of that position so now you're ready to perform your CT scan Whenever you're done performing the, the task of the CT scanning, you should be able to release the cot by pushing that anti-tilt bar forward, which releases the cot. You can pull it back and lower the cot down as if you were loading it normally. And when you do that, you're going to pull you're going to pull out you're going to pull out the anti-tilt bar and store it in an exterior compartment or cabinet I'm sorry an interior cabinet so now you can push this forward into the antlers and lock it into place and then be ready for transport.